This was my first landscape photography trip in quite a long time. It's June 2019 and I'm blessed with a beautiful summer's day. I headed for Norfolk, just a couple of hours drive from my home. I hadn't really visited this part of the world as an adult before. My first stop was Horsey Wind Pump. My intention was to investigate it as a potential subject for sunrise the following morning, but I found some compositions I wanted to capture right there and then. Horsey Wind Pump is just over 100 years old, and like many wind pumps in the area, it is a drainage mill, but has been restored over the past number of years to full working order by the National Trust. I really love the effect of the long exposure in this image, blurring the movement of the foreground grasses in the breeze. Next, I made my way to the coast at Caister on Sea. I'd heard about some zigzagging groins leading into the sea, and I thought they'd be worth considering for a minimalist sort of long exposure. my journey to my next location I stumbled upon this view which I couldn't resist to stop and photograph. When I reached Thurn, a beautiful little village right in the heart of the Norfolk Broads, a Thurn Dyke drainage mill made for a stunning subject with a whitewashed structure contrasting against the brilliant blue summer skies above with pleasure boats gently sailing along the River Thurn. my sunset location I chose Haysborough Lighthouse, which I'd heard about before. It was still afternoon when I arrived so I found a panoramic composition with the lighthouse sitting on the brow of the hill it's built on. I also experimented with some infrared and black and white images of the lighthouse too. As dusk approached, I relocated myself along the cliff top to shoot towards the lighthouse with the setting sun behind it. The conditions looked promising as I'd hoped for a stunning sunset which would light up the skies in purple, pink and golden hues as the sun sank below the horizon. During the blue hour and before calling it a day, I returned to the lighthouse itself to capture another simple shot this time with the light shining from the top. The following morning I returned to Horsey Wind Pump, not quite the perfect sunrise I'd hoped for due to a little cloud on the horizon, but I was greeted with incredible stillness, birdsong and lovely golden light and some thin mist hovering just above the ground. Just a quick visit to the coast again before breakfast to capture a simple shot of the beach and to experiment with an abstract utilising intentional camera movement. As I made my way to Herring Fleet drainage mill down towards Lowestoft, the skies started to turn ahead of a change in the weather. It was still very balmy though and a reasonable walk took me to my location. The colour images were challenging because of the grey skies lacking in detail. That's why I eventually turned to monochrome to make the most of the situation. Could I squeeze in one last location before the rain arrived? I headed back north to Turf Fen drainage mill, hoping for a break in the clouds, 
but the rain and I arrived at the mill at the same time. I had a great time visiting Norfolk with my camera and I will definitely return, perhaps when there is a higher chance of mist and fog which could really enhance the atmospheric feel of these locations. Thank you.